am back with you today and I've got my handy dandy balancing scale, balance scale, and we are going to measure the weights of some different objects. And actually, I just went to the playroom and stole some toys from my kids that were borrowed from my kids. So you can use anything you have around your house. You can use toys, you can use food, you could use um, school supplies, you could use anything that your mom and dad says is safe and that you're allowed to use, okay? So it doesn't have to be like, oh, we're not at school and I can't measure anything. Nope, pick up anything around your house your parents say is okay. So I have some toys with us today. So we're gonna measure five different toys and I'm gonna, we have a cupcake, a hammer, a truck, Oscar the Grouch, and a unicorn. And so we're gonna measure these and then we're gonna write how much they weigh and what I'm gonna to use to measure their weight today is some blocks. So I also borrowed their blocks. And I just chose all the ones that are the same size and shape, okay? You do not, they don't all have to be the same color, that doesn't matter, okay? But I don't wanna pick one that looks like this because it's a different size and a different shape than these little guys. So I'm only going to use the ones that are the same size and shape. And remember, that's an important thing when we're measuring. Remember, when we measured length, length with the Cheerios, we only used the whole Cheerios. We didn't want the broken pieces. We didn't use Fruit Loops, too. We only used the same size and shape material. So I'm only going to be using these size blocks today to measure how many blocks is equal to the weight of each object. Okay, so you can use Cheerios, you can use blocks, you could use pencils, you could use crayons, you could use beans, you could use fruit snacks, you could use gummy bears, you could use anything as long as it's the same size and shape that you have a bunch of to measure weight if you make a balance scale like we talked about yesterday. So let's go ahead and get started. If we look at our chart, the first thing we're going to measure the weight of is the cupcake. So... Here's our cupcake. I'm gonna put the cupcake on one side of our balance scale. Oops. There we go. So we see that it went down because right now this side is empty. We're gonna keep adding blocks until this side is equal to the cupcake. Okay, so we wanna see what how many blocks it takes for their weights to be the same. So there's one, two, Three, almost, four, I think I need one more because if you look, the cupcake is still just a little bit lower, five, and you know what, I think that's about pretty even. Let's see what happens if I add six. Hmm. What do you think? That's pretty good. So, they're just about even, so that tells me their weights are the same. Remember when our scale is even and kind of the same height, that means the weight of the objects is the same. So on our chart, a cupcake, it weighs the same as six blocks. Okay, so a cupcake in six weighs six blocks. All right, so next I have my hammer. So I'm going to carefully take out these blocks. I have a trusty wooden hammer, okay, a little toy hammer. So I'm gonna put the hammer on one side. Okay, so we can see it went down because that side right now is heavier. Oops. And I'm gonna add blocks to the empty side until they are equal. So we have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I might have added too many because now this one's kind of. What do you think? I think we got one. Eight. I think, too, the bowls are tilted a little bit so it. Take out one more, so that'll be seven. Three. Okay. What do you think? I think that's about equal. Just a 
about even. All right, so I'm gonna take these blocks out and I'm gonna count them because I kind of lost count. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the hammer weighs the same as seven blocks. So I'm gonna record that on my chart. So the cupcake was six blocks. The hammer weighed the same as seven blocks. So next we're gonna measure the weight of the truck. So here's our truck, cargo truck. I'm gonna put him, whoa, put the truck on one side. It went down a lot, didn't it? There we go. Okay, let's see. I think this might take a lot of blocks. So I'm gonna add them by twos, two at a time, and I'm gonna count by twos while I do it, okay? So two, four. So the truck weighed the same as 14 blocks. Okay, so if we look so far at our chart, which one is the heaviest? Yeah, the truck. And which one is the lightest? The cupcake, because the cupcake took weighed the least number of blocks and the truck weighed the most so far. We still have two more things. We have Oscar the Grouch and we have a unicorn. All right. So I'm going to take the truck out. Ooh. Try not to make a loud noise. There we go. All right. And here, line that back up. Is Oscar the Grouch. Oops. There he is. So he's kind of a little guy. Oh, look. He didn't go down as much as the other objects did when I put him in. So I'm going to do these one at a time, and let's count to see how many blocks it takes until their weights are equal, okay? One, two. Huh, two, right? Let's see what happens if I put three. Hmm. Maybe two. Yeah, I think three is probably a little bit better. All right, so three blocks is how much Oscar the Grouch weighs. He was very light. He did not weigh much. Okay, so on our chart, we have Oscar, and he weighed three blocks. So now the truck is still the heaviest. 14 blocks is the most so far. But which one is the lightest now? Yeah, Oscar, because he only weighed three blocks. All right, we have one more thing to measure and to weigh, and that is our unicorn. So here, can you guess whose unicorn this is? That's Sadie's. So hopefully it's in the cup. Oh, no. oh my goodness gracious. There we go. Got it. Ooh, that is a heavy unicorn. I hope I have enough blocks. Okay, so let's count by twos again. That seemed to work pretty good. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten. We're getting close. Twelve. Let's see what happens if I do fourteen. 14, let me see if I do one more, 15, 16, I think that looks pretty even, you think, I think that looks pretty close to equal, 
So that was 16 blocks for the unicorn. So let me record that on our chart. Okay, so here are our final results. The cupcake weighed the same as six blocks. The hammer weighed the same as seven blocks. The truck was the same as 14 blocks. Oscar the Grouch was the same as three blocks. And the unicorn was the same as 16 blocks. So I'm gonna just circle our numbers just so it's a little bit easier when we're answering the next questions I'm gonna ask you. Okay, so I've circled all of our numbers so they stand out just a little bit better. Okay, so let's start with the object that was the heaviest or weighed the most. Which of our objects, which toy, weighed the most? Right, it was the unicorn. The unicorn was 16 blocks heavy. So the weight of the unicorn was 16 blocks. It was almost the same as the truck. The truck was 14 blocks, but the unicorn was just a little bit heavier. So 16 blocks makes the unicorn the heaviest. Which object was the lightest of all of our toys? So that means it would weigh the least. Yes, it was Oscar the Grouch. Remember, he only weighed his weight was the same as three blocks. So Oscar was the lightest. Okay, let's compare two objects. So if I had the hammer and the truck, which of those, just the hammer and the truck, which of those is the heaviest? The truck, good. And which one is the lightest? The hammer, very good. The hammer weighed fewer blocks than the truck. Good. Okay, what about the cupcake, which was six blocks, and Oscar, which was three blocks? Which of those was the heaviest? The cupcake, good, because the cupcake was six, which is more than three, and Oscar weighed only three blocks. Okay, so still just looking at the cupcake and Oscar, which was the lightest? Which of those was the lightest? Good. Oscar, because he was only three blocks. Okay, now I have a challenge for you. Let me see who can figure this out. If I wanted to weigh the hammer and Oscar together, how many blocks would they weigh if I were weighing them together? So the hammer was seven blocks and Oscar was three blocks. If I wanted to weigh them at the same time and figure out their weight together, so the hammer and Oscar together, how many blocks would they weigh? So you would put seven and three together, and seven and three together makes 10. So the hammer and Oscar together would be the same weight as 10 blocks, would be equal to 10 blocks. Good job. All right, guys, that was a little bit of a challenge, but I know that didn't trick you. All right, well, I hope that helps you with measuring weight. Um, this week, it's one of your math skills that you're working on. Remember that the directions, if you want to make your own balance scale like this, are at the back of your math packet for this week. And I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please, please, please let me know. And I'll see you guys soon. Talk to you soon. Miss you. Have a great day.